What's up everyone? Mark Lobliner, CEO, MTS Nutrition. From, let's go with Zach Watkins. From the Tiger Fitness Group on Facebook, facebook.com, go to Tiger Fitness Group. And then you answer some questions and we accept. Anyway, check it out. It's a good place, man. A lot of motivation, a lot of motivating talk, a lot of positivity. Motivating, speaking of motivating, motivating your unmotivated spouse and loved one when they know it's important to their health. Well, I think nobody's denying that being of a good weight, not obese, and being in shape, being able to run and walk and play and, you know, breathe and not breathe heavy and walking upstairs and also eating healthier micronutrient-dense foods. I don't think anybody's going to argue that a Pop-Tart is healthier than an apple or a banana. I think we all know that, but it's really hard. One of my clients, and I know he won't mind me sharing it, he's actually one of my closest financial advisors. I helped him lose, helped him, he did the work. Well over 100 pounds, he went from like 380 to like 230, right? And I cut him loose, man. I'm like, bro, you're ready, you got this. Lo and behold, it's been like three, four years. We're still really good friends. He goes, Mark, I need your help, man, I need your help. I've let it come back, all right? He's back up to 260, now still a far cry from the upper 300s, the hypertension, the pre-diabetes he was in before, but it's still not good. So I said, look, I'm gonna help you get back. And this time we're gonna do even better where you're never gonna need me again. Now, here's the thing. I, for a living, do not get paid to work out. I don't. I do Instagrams, I do YouTubes, but that's just flash in the pan stuff. All the money I make is on the back end. No G4P jokes, please. All the money I make is from selling, business, investments, multiple companies. That's what I do. However, being in the fitness realm with some of my businesses, being in the fitness arena, basically, I stay in shape. It helps me. It helps my persona. It helps my views. It's kind of who I am. So I cannot put myself in someone else's shoes that, hey, there's no way you should be out of shape because for me... I am sort of incentivized to be this way. My financial advisor, however, is not. He goes in office every day, wears a suit, covers up, doesn't have to show these big old guns and veins in a camera. You lose track of it. He's got a family, a thriving business, multiple businesses. He's into politics. He's got a lot going on, man. He's got a lot going on. He runs for political office. He's the man. He's the one of, I respect this man probably more than I respect anyone on this planet next to my wife and my business partner. And, um, oh, he's just the greatest guy ever. But guess what? How he looks doesn't make him money. He doesn't care. But I empathize with that. Because I know how it is. To be like, you know what? After my father died, you know, working out wasn't my thing. It got a little chunky, man. For me, a little chunky is a little, probably what I should look like all the time, but I got a little chunky for me. And I knew what it was like to not focus on fitness being first. <laughs> Look, dude, Zach, all you could do is say that you love her and you want to share the time with her. Invite her to the gym with you. And don't be a dick. Don't be like, Arr! don't go in there acting like fucking Ronnie Coleman in The Unbelievable, okay? Be supportive. Help her. Rub her titties a little. No, I'm just playing. No, help her out. Be supportive. Explain to her how much you enjoy the time together. Make it fun. Hell, it kind of grosses me out when people do this, but I do it occasionally. Give her a kiss in the gym. Show affection. Be there for her. Go to the gym with her. The last thing you should do is say, I want you to go to the gym. Why? You gotta have an answer. Because she's gonna just assume that you think she's fat and unattractive. That's not good. So you need to work within the framework of what you have going on there. What you have is a girl that you love enough to want to live. You want her around for when you get old. You're 90 years old, laying in bed, and she's serving you up a cup of chicken noodle soup because you don't have any fucking teeth to chew anything else. You need to make sure that she realizes that you want this you want her there for health. And guess what? She might not want to do it. If she doesn't, drop it. Seems like you have a good relationship. Enough for you to go in a public forum and ask me how to make it even better. Don't fuck it up. Don't go in there with this holier-than-thou elitist fitness attitude and fuck it up. You go in there, you be nice, and you invite her to train with you. 
you put on your best face. Don't pretend like you're fucking, um, don't, don't pretend like you're Dorian Yates training for the Olympia. All right. Go in there, be a gentleman, be kind, have a good time, make it fun for her. That's how you keep her going back. Anyway, that's all I got, man. Thanks so much, you guys. If you haven't joined the Tiger Fitness Group, that's it. Share this video, like it, subscribe to this channel. And of course, go to tigerfitness.com and buy all my MTS nutrition stuff because, well, I don't know, man. I got a very, very, very extravagant lifestyle and I need to keep it up. If you guys don't buy my stuff, I might have to downgrade. And that's really not cool. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. That's not a game.